Good morning, Juicy Villains. I am currently washing the dishes because I now have a day job. Great. Morning job, you can call it. I'm kidding. Good morning. I hope you have an absolutely great whatever day it is. It is 6.40 a.m. I woke up at 6 a.m. Had to get my check-in for my coach. It's exactly 30 days out until I hop on stage, which means shit's getting serious. Very, very serious. We're going to Vegas next week with Create Your Nutrition. The greens are selling like crazy. The probiotics are launching this week. I'm finalizing the pre-workout. The pre There's so much freaking stuff happening and I'm super, super excited. So, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna try and document like probably like once or twice a week so you can really see how the prep is going. Maybe even a little bit more, just depends on my days. It's tough, it's freaking tough. Like, there's no one, no way to bullshit you. Um, I'm 189 pounds. I haven't been this light since junior in high school, just to be honest. Junior in freaking high school. So actually, senior in high school. Shoot, I was a little string bean. But the good news is, I look so much bigger than what I was, which is really a freaking plus. So let me show you actually. This is where I'm at. This is before I'm eating, before I'm doing anything. I haven't even drank any water. So you can see everything. See right here, my, my abs. So this is how I know that I'm getting super, super lean. If you zoom in right here, this is like a, a, uh, a little divot in my abs that I need to get deeper and deeper and deeper. And that's how I'll know if I'm like, how low of body fat I am. But, this is me. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm feeling pretty good. Looking pretty good. I have back today, so we're gonna hit back. I'm currently on 150 carb, 50 fat, and 250 protein. So pretty low, been like that for about seven days. Did five days of really, really hard cardio this past week. So we're freaking grinding. Oh, fantasy football! Your boy uh, got the best team in the league. We'll talk about that later. Uh, the, the uh, what, what do you call it? The name of my team is called the Big Natty Daddies. So yeah, we're fucking coming in natty. Anyways. Let's have a great day, let's get a workout in. I'm gonna do some journaling actually. I, before, every single morning now, uh, 30 days out, I am, I'm pretty much writing like an excerpt to my book that I wanna release here eventually. It's gonna be called 30 Days and Counting, Road to the Stage, or something along those lines. And then I wanna create a book called uh, 30 Roads, 30, what did I just say? This is brain fog. 30 Days and Counting. 30 Days and Counting, and then it's gonna have Road to the, to your business launch. So I wanna do like a, a little series of books that has to do with like a, like launching a business in 30 days, what it looks like and what, how you can kind of experience with me through, through reading it. Road to the stage, first ever competition. What's my experience? What goes through on, uh, in my mind during each day while I'm running businesses and things like that. And then we're gonna keep on like busting through some, some newer topics and things that I actually do that you have no clue about. So yeah, I'm super excited for that. But for now, let's freaking get this work on it. Let's roll. I check in from my coach back. I still have 150 carb, 50 fat, 250 protein. On this Sunday, I'm gonna have a refeed with 500 carbs. We've tested it out once, so I did a 400 carb day, another 400 carb day, and then a 500 carb day. When I had the 500 carbs, that next morning I woke up and I was just like full as could be. I was freaking massive. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. I wanted to update you guys so you know what's going on. I hit that that full carb day, but my cardio is still the same. So I'm still grinding with my cardio. Fortunately and unfortunately at the same time, it's like 
I'm exhausted from how much cardio, uh, well, it's not even that much cardio. It's 25 minutes, as hard as I can go on, my, on the stair stepper. I just go really, really hard and my workouts are really, really hard. So I, I, this is what it takes. Honestly, this is what it takes. And if you're not willing to do it, then you're not gonna get the best results on stage. You can still compete if you're not willing to go as hard as I am or some other people will, but your results just will not be there. It's just trust that, trust the work that you put in today, the next minute, the next hour, that, that all encompasses how you're gonna show up in those 90 days or 120 days, however many days you're out from your competition. Goal. The goal for my training today, I wanna go hard, obviously. Not as much volume, a little bit more, actually fuck it, yeah, we're gonna go volume. <laughs> go heavy. I wanna freaking lift out of the gym. That's it. I feel good. I'm telling you, the lighting at my apartment compared to where I am now, it's night and day, isn't it? Yeah. I've immediately gained 30 pounds. <laughs> and lean muscle, just. As you can see all the striations and everything. All right, you ready? Let's get it. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Why you be all in my line? About nothing, why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a new line for nothing. I see that we different, you ride and I double. I don't do discussions on bragging about hundreds. Don't go to your places, I know that they sunken. Don't call me your brother, I barely can trust it. I talk to a shorty, she bagging the bugging. And I'ma need all of my dollars on corpus, so hand me the money, I divvy the pie. I'ma give all of my people a portion to build them a fortune, I'm flipping the ride. I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe. And 40 on 50 is really the time. Why is you all on my phone like you want me? Like you wasn't pushing the kick to the side, I don't know if you think I'm having a really good workout. A lot of guys talk about not, not being able to and depleted or whatever. Micronutrients, good. Sleep, good. How much I need them, good. So my workouts are always top notch. There's no excuses for any bullshit. Biceps. The reason why I'm using these grips, these Versa grips, is so that I put a little bit more load and control into my back, and then it allows me to do a little bit more isolation work with my biceps at the end of my workout. So it's good coupling. I switch it up. Sometimes I'm focused more on my grip strength, but yeah, we're gonna hit some biceps now.
<laughs> slow enough. A little bit of my mind's like, oh, shit, right here. I'm like, no, fuck you, mind. You know it's the same mind. I'm just like, fuck you, fuck you. No, fuck you, you fucking loser. Like, Whoa, language. is just 23 grams of carbs, all of this, 23 grams of carbs, and then we have about 27 grams of protein and like two grams of fat, that's it. And you can have all of this. I got rice, cauliflower, I got shrimp, I have uh, these noodles, miracle noodles, spinach, or spring mix, and all I'm gonna do, throw some seasonings in, basil, salt, pepper, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and that's it. A little bit of garlic. And you got yourself a damn freaking good meal. Shout out to Icon Meals for the shrimp. It makes it so easy that you can order, like by the pound, you can order meals, the whole shebang. I love prep, but I don't like it at the same time. Zucchini, Icon Meals, six ounces of roasted turkey breast with six ounces of asparagase. I would have a mixed feelings about these mixed mushrooms. Seriously, uh, I'm about to eat another meal here. Uh, like, like I said, I'm a freaking chef, so we're gonna tell you. Mixed mushrooms, already had my greens today, so I don't need to take another scoop, but you know what, sometimes I like to, so I, I, I might just take another another scoop, get a little taste of my, my buds, get it taste buds. Anyways, I'm, I'm really on a roll tonight. Um, 4.30 p.m., mixed mushrooms. Here's the things about it. Here's the thing about mushrooms. I, they're so they're so tasty. They're so great. If you if you make it right, they are freaking. I don't know any any different. I don't know any other, other, other languages. But I was about to be like caliente or whatever. But that's hot. Doesn't make any sense. They are delicious. Okay, uh, but there's a lot of protein with the carbs. So let's just say I have 85 grams worth of mushrooms. That's gonna be three grams of carbs with two grams of protein, zero grams of fat. So really, if you want a lot of mushrooms, you're gonna have like three servings of that, and you're talking nine grams of carbs. You're talking six grams of protein. That means we're taking away from the total macronutrients that I would like to eat in a full day. <laughs> no, we're all serious. This. Um, yeah, it's just, I was having mixed feelings about the mixed mushrooms. But I'm gonna do it anyways. So uh, without further ado, check out this meal. Now I gotta be real with you guys. This right here is how you eat. 191 grams of zucchini, 135 grams of mushrooms. We got asparagase, six ounces, six ounces of roasted turkey breast. We have Taylor who has no clue what to do right now because he's trying to film. And then 
This is my one of my favorite sauces in the entire world. Go buy it right now. Umami hot sauce. I'm telling you, you want to thank me for something? Go buy this right now. That's all, folks. So I am finishing up my meals and night. I've been working all day. Just finishing up now. It is 7:44 with four eggs, some vegan cheese, a little bit of elk, also uh, one of these uh, rice cakes right here, and then some football. So I don't know if you play any fantasy football. I am this year, and right now I have Adams. I don't know if you guys know who Devontae Adams is for the Green Bay Packers, but that's one of my main guys. Decided to play it because over the next 30 days, obviously this is day 30, 30 days out, it's gonna be a long process, and I wanna be a part of things like get involved, even though I'm exhausted and stuff. I don't wanna just sit at home and watch Netflix when I have my time off. It's because I'm super exhausted from prep, I want to be able to go do things and be involved in things and socialize. That's one of the biggest things that I've seen from the bodybuilding community is that when you're going through prep, you kind of disassociate yourself with socializa socialization. And yeah, I feel like I, I need to still be intact, intact with that and meeting new people and networking during these last 30 days. So that's all I got for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed the workout, you enjoyed some of the meals that I showed you, some of the tricks and the trades of prep, and just showing you that it works. Like, this all works. As you can see, I'm looking pretty good right now. At night, I usually look pretty good. Anyways, Crazy Nutrition, go check it out. Link in the bio, podcast every Tuesday and Friday. Follow me on Instagram, at the B Myers. Check me out there if you wanna ask any questions. DM me, comment. Um, engage, whatever. Appreciate you, and I'll see you next time. Peace.